Hope you've had a great Monday out there as we make our way through the rest of this week. It does appear that it is going to be borderline hot. Now, if you're a Texan and you've been here for a long time, it's going to feel pretty much like it should. But if you are new to the area, yeah, it is going to feel kind of steamy out there. We could see a few storms around Wednesday through Friday, the way it appears right now, and a couple of isolated storms this weekend. And it will be hot, too, with temperatures getting up closer to the middle 90s by then. So a quiet start to the week, and that is some good news around here. Still getting a chance to dry out. This will likely go into Tuesday as well, but clouds will start to increase. There is a storm system that is out here to the west as well. You can see the clouds already starting to gather and that will be making its way off toward the northeast here over the next 24 hours. So for us, probably not too much happening, but we will be watching to our northwest for the potential of some uh, thunderstorm activity as we head into Tuesday. High temperatures with the heat index values. That's temperature and humidity together. Have to start pulling this back out. It's going to be 90 degrees on Tuesday, but your max heat index value in the afternoon could be around 96. 97 is what it could feel like on Wednesday. And then look at this. As we head into early next week, we may get those heat index values to get close to the triple digits around here. So let's check out what we're anticipating as we make our way through the overnight hours tonight. Clouds will be on the increase. Moisture levels go up. I don't think we'll be seeing any rain, but there could be a few pockets of drizzle here and there to start off Tuesday morning. By the afternoon, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies across the region. And again, we're probably going to see some decent weather at least with the thunderstorm staying off toward the northwest. This particular model is trying to bring a couple storms in as we head into tomorrow, tomorrow evening. This is one of the only models doing this. So about a 20% chance of what you see here is actually going to come to fruition. And then as we get into 7 o'clock Wednesday morning, more low clouds to start the day. Most of Wednesday looks pretty quiet, but by Wednesday evening, once again, we may see a few thunderstorms try to creep into the area. I think this is a little more likely, and then those die out as we head toward Thursday morning with another chance as we get into Thursday afternoon and evening. So these are going to be those afternoon and evening thunderstorms that try to come through from time to time. So tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the low to mid 70s for us. Then tomorrow, highs into the lower 90s. It should be a pretty nice day across the region. But again, it's just going to be a little warm with that humidity. 30% chances for thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, especially during the evening hours, seems to be the best time with highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Some models are wetter, some models are drier. So that's why we're going about 30% right now. We'll keep at least isolated thunderstorms into the weekend for your Memorial Day weekend with highs into the low to mid 90s. That will continue to next week. And then we may drop into the 80s as a weak front gets in here by the middle part of next week. And looking at the Brazos Valley, 91, 92 degrees for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, getting a little bit warmer for the weekend and a slight chance for a few thunderstorms, especially Friday into Saturday.